Hello and welcome to my shop. My name is George and uh, uh, welcome to my shower. My name is George and I'm coming to you from Chelsea, Quebec. Uh, I'm standing in my shower because I solved a problem that uh, might be something that, uh, that's interesting as a general solution. So uh, what's the problem? I wanted to determine the, the curvature of this glass panel. Um, Specifically, I wanted to find out what the radius of this curve was. Uh, now, why? Well, I have a squeegee with a straight edge, and in order to use it effectively, I have to draw it horizontally. But what I really want is uh, a squeegee with uh, a curved blade on it, so that I could wipe it down um, using vertical uh, sweeps. Um, so for that, I needed to know the radius uh, that gave rise to this curvature. Um, so the next uh, three sections, if you want to call them that, uh, the first one will show you what you need to measure. The second one will show you how to use a simple formula to calculate the radius. And in the third section, all of these are in today's video, in the uh, third section, I'll go over the derivation of the formula because I think it's, it, it'll be interesting to some. If not, fine, you just bail out whenever you need to. So, let's get going. So, what do you need to measure? Well, I've got the curvature running this way, so I'm going to set up uh, a cord, if you will. So, as best as I can hold this horizontally, um, it's a framing square, point to point, I've got 24 inches. So there's my cord, and uh, now from the midpoint of the cord, so from the 12 inch uh, interval, uh, I need to know how far it is to the circle, and, uh, oops, measure that, that's a quarter and a sixteenth more, so three and five sixteenths. All right, so what are we looking at? Well, we're searching for the radius. And uh, we've measured a couple of things. We measured the cord, the full cord, as 24 inches. So H is going to represent half of that. So the half cord is 12 inches. And uh, D, we measured that. Now that's the distance from the cord to the glass, or if you like, from the cord to the curve. Um, so that came out as uh, 3 and 5 sixteenths, which would be represented uh, this way if you went with uh, decimal, full decimal notation. So the uh, relationship, the equation that's going to give us the radius is this. The radius is equal to the square of the half chord plus the square of the distance and uh, all of that is divided by twice the distance. So uh, h squared, so that's 12 times 12, that's 144, plus uh, d squared. Now I don't know what that is just yet, so I'll just write it down here. 3.3125 squared. And uh, down here, 2D, so that will be twice 2 times 3.3125. So, let me just get a calculator and I'll work that out. So, R is equal to 144 plus... 10.973 and that's going to be divided by was it 6.625 6.625 so 154.973 divided by oh here I'll show you down here 6 Point six two five equals twenty eight 
23.39 so the radius um, for that curvature is uh, 23.4 inches so here in this last part I'm going to uh, show you the thinking that comes up with the uh, formula that we need so we have um, a radius that goes to a circle and we've placed a chord on that circle and we went to the halfway point of that chord and measured the distance to the middle of the circle. So if we start giving these things some names, let's uh, add another radius here. So this one goes all the way to the curve. And let's take a look at what we have. So we have a radius up here that meets the curve. Uh, that's, you know, what all radii do. And we've got this distance here, which we've uh, decided is half of the chord length. So let's give it a name H. And then we also measured the distance from the chord to the curve. And uh, that we called D, little d. So what does that give us? Well, if we look at this thing here, we've got a right angle triangle. We've got a, a radius that goes all the way to the curve. But if you stop it here at the chord, you can represent that as R minus D, R minus D. So the whole radius minus the distance from the chord to the curve. Well, what I'm looking at is a right angle triangle with sides R minus D, H, and the hypotenuse R. So now we're going to uh, uh, beseech a dead Greek, dead some 2500 years, to give us a hand here. And we'll just use the Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse squared, so R squared is equal to r minus d squared, r minus d squared plus h squared. Okay, let's uh, expand this bit out. So r squared is equal to uh, r squared minus 2rd plus d squared and then we'll add on h squared right so let's just check the focus here that's close enough good um bon. we've got an r squared over here and an r squared over there so let's start by subtracting r squared from both sides so zero is equal to uh, negative 2rd plus d squared plus h squared. And uh, now let's add 2rd to both sides. So 2rd is equal to, of course, this one now gets cancelled out. If you add 2rd to minus 2rd, uh, is equal to d squared plus h squared. And uh, what we're interested in is the radius. So here's the radius over here. If we now divide both sides by 2d, we'll have what we're looking for. r is equal to uh, d squared plus h squared divided by 2d. Uh, so there it is. That's how we, uh, we get the formula that uh, tells us what the radius is. Oops, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. It's not r squared. It's r r is equal to all of that. Good.
Well, I hope that was interesting uh, or useful or just amusing. Remember, find some time for your passion and if you can share it, so much the better. Bye for me for now. Of an inch. The formula that's going to give us the radius is this. Radius is equal to uh, c squared. What the hell is c squared? That's stupid. <laughs>